choose to go to the moon. Lift off on Apollo 11. The Eagle has landed. He came in peace for all mankind. I'm David Curley at the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum where we are marking 50 years since man landed and walked on the moon in a lander just like this one. One of the most iconic images from the moon is the one you just saw, Buzz Aldrin standing next to that American flag. And there is quite a story about that flag, how it got on the limb and to the moon. Back in 2003, our colleague at the time, Lisa Stark, had the story. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Neil Armstrong was first out, followed by Buzz Aldrin. Two hours and 32 minutes walking on the moon, collecting rocks, conducting experiments, and planting the American flag. I didn't know all the details about uh, how to put it together, but I didn't figure that putting two sticks together was going to be that difficult. In fact, it was nearly a disaster. The flag story begins a few short months before the lunar module touched down. That's when NASA made the decision to put an American flag on the moon. It was controversial. There was a UN treaty that banned any country from claiming the moon as its own. So this was to be a symbolic gesture. I was not to talk to speak to anyone about it. Tom Mosier, a young NASA engineer, was drafted to help with the clandestine project. The flag was the easy part, straight from a government catalog, $5.50. But where to put it? Number one, it cannot go in the command module because there's not room. Number two, it cannot go in the lunar module because there's not room for it. It wound up on the ladder from the lunar module, folded just so, with a collapsible flagpole and a telescoping arm to hold the flag out straight like this. The only way to make the flag fly on the windless surface of the moon. But it didn't work as planned. It would not extend because the telescoping rod had a coating on it that, that had caused it to gall, if you will, or to, to, to weld. It stuck. So the inventiveness of humans, rather than leaving that in an awkward position, we, we kind of spread out the flag over the whole part of it and put that artistic touch on it. And so the flag appears to be waving in the breeze. Conspiracy theorists say that's evidence man never landed on the moon. But they did. Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes. NASA liked the mistake so much, it designed all the rest of the lunar flags to look just like this one. Because that flag was store-bought, the experts believe that the sun has bleached out all the colors. But it's still there. More on the moon landing and moonwalk 50 years ago here on ABC News Live. I'm David Curley.